we want to find the coordinates of a point on a circle with radius 12 corresponding to the angle of 50 degrees. To do this, let's make a reference triangle for our angle. So this is the terminal side of the angle, and this is 50 degrees. We can sketch a segment from this point here that's perpendicular to the x-axis to form the reference triangle. So if this is the point we're looking for with coordinates x comma y, we can label the opposite side of our triangle y, the adjacent side x, and the hypotenuse would be the radius of the circle, which we know is 12. So we find the values of x and y, we have the coordinates of our point. So using the reference triangle, we know cosine 50 degrees must equal x divided by 12. Remember the cosine function value is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. And we also know that sine 50 degrees must equal y divided by 12, or the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Now if we solve this equation for x by multiplying both sides by 12, I'm going to go ahead and change the order here. I'm going to write this as x equals 12 times cosine 50 degrees. And the same thing for the second equation. We multiply both sides by 12, and then change the order of the equation. We would have y equals 12 times sine 50 degrees. So this is where these two formulas come from. y equals r sine theta, and x equals r cosine theta. So now we can find the approximate value of this using the calculator, and we're asked to round to three decimal places. It is important to verify the calculator is in degree mode, so I'll press the mode key. Notice how this calculator is in degree mode. So I'll go back to the home screen. 12 times cosine 50 degrees will give us the approximate x coordinate. It was approximately 7.713. And the y coordinate will be 12 times sine 50 degrees. So the y coordinate is approximately 9.193. So we'll go ahead and give this point here as an ordered pair. It would be 7.713 comma 9.193. Okay, I hope this explanation was helpful.